Okay, um, so if you've now decided that you, there's no chance of you getting into medicine um, and you really want to do it and you've decided that, you know, this is the course for you and you're going for, the, for it because of the right choices, then I suggest don't panic, first of all. Don't panic. It's not too late to do medicine. You can still do it, okay? It's not too late. Basically, what I suggest, the best choice that you have is getting into biomedical science. Now, remember, a lot of people in biomedical science rethink uh, that initially think they wanted to do medicine, change their mind. So just be careful because that may happen. I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just trying to tell you what has happened to me, okay? Um, I thought I wanted to do medicine. I got into biomedical science. Then I realized in the second year, hey, I don't want to do medicine. I don't want to do anything with, you know, um, just, yeah, in the health department. I don't want nothing to do with it. So then I had to change courses. So first I changed over. Um, in the second year of biomedical science, I applied for architecture in, at Melbourne University. I, re I got in, but then I realized that I, I couldn't be bothered going to, all the way to Melbourne and I didn't have enough good reasons to do architecture. So then I rethought it again and I spoke to a few of my dad's, fam my dad's friends and I decided that engineering would be a good course for me because I enjoy maths and traveling and I suppose I enjoy the business aspect of things as well. So that was a great blend for me. So I mean, if I look back at year 12 and someone would tell me that I'm going to be doing engineering, I would laugh at them saying that there's no way someone like me could do engineering because I don't understand, you know, like how could I ever do really complicated maths? I would laugh them out. And now I'm sitting here doing engineering law double degree, which is completely different to what I first initially thought I would do. And I'm not even saying that I will be doing this um, to the end of my life, I'll probably change a million times. So it's really hard to make a decision, especially when you're young, when you're 17. Um, if you're lucky enough to know initially what you want to do, well, you, you're really blessed, okay? Because a lot of us are just floating around and a lot of us, even as 23-year-olds, 24-year-olds, we all, do, we don't, some of us don't even know what we're doing yet. So I just, um, back to the topic of medicine, um, if you don't get in, you can go to biomedicine. Keep in mind that you have to get distinctions and high distinctions to even be considered into medicine. Now, distinctions and high distinctions at uni level. Um, at Monash University, a distinction is anywhere between 70 and 79. Um, now, that may seem like a C plus to some people, go, and some people may go, oh, that's easy, you know, getting a 70 at uni. The amount of content that you have this time around is heaps more than in, bio, in in VCE. I mean, I remember some of our first biology lectures, we just got, went through um, the entire year 12 syllabus within a few, you know, lectures. That's the amount of material that you had, that you have. I mean, there's, sometimes I wrote lists of, you know, about tw um, 1,200 new definitions that I had to learn for the exams. And you can't put them all in your mind. You have to be very selective about what you're going to study about in in, um, in your course and what you're not going to study. It's not the same as VCE. So a distinction is quite a achievement at university. Um, a high distinction is even better. So you want to achieve high distinctions. Um, and also, if you want to get into medicine, you have to do something called the GAMSAT. Now, the GAMSAT, um, all I know about it is that it's a kind of um, test, it tests your knowledge, not like the UMAT, not on your IQ and your communication skills and that kind of stuff. The GAMSAT actually tests your knowledge on chemistry, you know, sciences and things like that. So it is a quite an important exam held in March, I think, and um, that will determine whether or not you get into medicine. Now... You may think that biomedicine is a waste of time, a waste of three years. Um, well, in fact, it isn't because when you finish that three years of biomedical science, then you can apply for a lot of credit for medicine course. So really, your um, three years of biomedicine, after your three years of biomedicine, you just do another four and a half years of medicine and you graduated. You're a doctor. 
so it's not really that much dramatically different it's maybe an extra two years or something i think of studying um and i mean if you really want to do it then yes it is worth it okay so just remember one thing if it, if you really want to do medicine and you have stuffed up in some way your vc it's not too late you can still do it you can also apply to science okay and i know that people have even gotten into medicine from science so it's not too late okay if you really want to do a particular course don't give up on it keep on going for it the worst thing to do is just to give up upon your goal because it's hard after the it's hard during the vc or something don't let it stop you you can still go for it you're still young and you can still achieve whatever you want to achieve it's not too late vce is not the only pathway to medicine okay so just keep that in mind so you don't stress yourself out so much okay a little bit of stress is healthy too much is going to like seriously make you go crazy okay so try not to do that um remember don't give up upon your destiny if you want to do this then do it go for it okay i hope that helped you in some kind of way and yeah just look through the channel and um, our website and yeah, hope you have a great day. See you.